Thank you very much for joining us at this hour. We begin with some breaking news coming in from India. Supreme Court has dismissed union government's curative petition seeking additional compensation from Union Carbide Corporation by reopening the settlement in the Bhopal gas tragedy uh, case. And the Supreme Court says that the settlement can be set aside only on the ground of fraud. No ground of fraud has been pleaded by the Union of India. It is UCC's allegation that union and state did not detoxify the environment. We are unsatisfied with the Union of India for not furnishing any rational rationale for raking up this issue after two decades. And for more on this, we are now being joined by Rachna Dingra on phone. She is the member of NGO Bhopal Group of Information and Action. Rachna, thank you very much for joining us at this hour on this very important day, especially for the survivors of this gas leak tragedy. What do you make of this Supreme Court verdict so far? What, what we have always made out is that uh, the vile gas victims are extremely anguished by this, uh, this Supreme Court's judgment because, again, the Supreme Court has been concerned about the finality for the union carbide. But there will never be finality for the Bhopal gas victims. In a, in a place which was the world's worst industrial disaster, 93% of the Bhopal survivors have received less than $500 for compensation. Union of India did, did not present the correct figures of deaths of injuries before the Supreme Court. Union of India did not argue fraud, even though Union Carbide Corporation today is absconded from Indian courts. They right. continue to abscond and they get all the benefits from it, they get the finality, and victims continue to suffer without adequate compensation or without uh, 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 adequate rehabilitation. Rashna, let me ask you this. It's almost four decades of waiting. How are the survivors seeing this verdict? In, in the last four decades, what we have seen even today, more than 100,000 people are chronically sick. There are children being born to gas-exposed parents with birth defects. There is an area which is contaminated with persistent organic pollutants of more than 200,000 people. This is in addition to uh, gas exposure. So after four decades, what we have, and even today, not a single corporation, not a single individual has gone to jail for a day. The corporations have gotten away with murder in this case. Not a single individual has gone to jail. And so all the mercy, all the, uh, all the finality is for Union Carbide, but there is no justice uh, for the Bhopal survivors. Rajna Center's curative plea was seeking an additional 7,844 crore rupees from Union Carbide Corporation's successor firms to extend higher compensation to the victims of the 1984 Bhopal gas tragedy that killed over 3,000 people. Some say this amount is not enough. Absolutely. This amount, they were not seeking for Bhopal gas victims. Let's be very clear about this. 7,000 crore, what the government of India was seeking, was to fill their own coffers. They were seeking money for the money that they have spent in providing rehabilitation, in building hospitals. That is their job to do. Yeah. So the, all this 7,000 crores they were seeking from Union Carbide was to fill their own coffers. Bhopal organizations for the last 12 years, since this petition was listed in the Supreme Court has been saying, present the correct figures of death and injuries. Their official figures say that 15,000 gas victims have died as a result of exposure. This is the official figure of government of Madhya Pradesh, but this was not presented in the Supreme Court. The official pro uh, figure of the government of Madhya Pradesh is that more than half a million people are sick because of long-term health in in injury as, an expo as, as, as due to the exposure to MIC. But this was not presented in the in front of the court. And that is why we are in a position where the Union of India continues to protect the interest of Union Carbide and Dow Chemical, same like it did in 1989. Rachna, it was one of the world's worst industrial disasters. Were there any lessons learned from this tragedy? Uh, <laughs> 
you just have to look around because the precedent that this disaster, this ongoing disaster has set is you can get away with murder. Corporations can pay $500 and get away with murder. You don't even have, you can change your name, get high, get bought up by another bigger company called the, called the Dow Chemical Company. And then you say, you will say we have no responsibility left towards the gas victims and to those people where we have spread our toxic waste. Just look around, just in Kochi right now, there is massive burning happening. There are so many disasters like Bhopal, silent and slow Bhopal happening, and they will continue to happen unless and until the precedent is corrected that corporations who are rich and mighty and powerful who continue to collude with our government, if they continue, if they're allowed to get away, Bhopal life disasters will never stop. Rachna, finally, before I let you go, what has been the response from Dow Chemicals and Alia Union Carbide over the years? Uh, so they have a very double standard when it comes to uh, people in uh, when it comes to taking responsibility of union when it comes to taking uh, responsibility of union carbide in US Dow Chemical has set aside money for that but when it comes to Bhopal they have a complete double standard things are so bad that they won't even reveal the toxicology of the gases that were leaked in the, on that night and because of that we do not know how to treat people union Carbide has information on long-term health effects as, expo as uh, if you are exposed to MIC, but they won't reveal that. They've refused to reveal that. So all this thing about that we are a great company, what we can see, they forget compensation. They don't even want people to get better in this city. Rachna, I, I know I said I'll let you go, but uh, before I do that, um, what are the implications of this Supreme Court verdict? Yeah, we will, well, we are reviewing the verdict. We will uh, look at it once it is out in paper, finally. And we will review our further steps now that it is clear that uh, carbide will not be made to pay. But the uh, Union of India and its course of arguments between 10th to 12th January has clearly said that the injuries are, uh, are, are much more, uh, injuries are permanent in nature. So it is now the responsibility of Union of India to pay, pay for those damages that, uh, that Bhopal gas victims have suffered. All right, I'm talking to Rachna Dingra. She is a member of NGO Bhopal Group of Information and Action, and we're talking about this latest um, news that is coming in from India. Supreme Court has dismissed union government's curative petition seeking additional compensation from Union Carbide Corporation by reopening the settlement in the Bhopal ba gas tragedy case. Again, the Supreme Court has dismissed the union government's curative petition seeking additional compensation from Union Carbide Corporation by reopening the settlement in the Bhopal gas tragedy case. And I've been talking to Rachna. Rachna, thank you very much for your information uh, today and for talking to We on World is One. Now, the Supreme Court was uh, set to pronounce its verdict today, and it has, on the center's curative plea seeking an additional 7,844 crore rupees from Union Carbide Corporation successor firms to extend higher compensation to the victims of the 1984 Bhopal gas tragedy that killed over 3,000 people and caused environmental damage. The five-judge bench constitution bench uh, was headed by Justice Sanjay Kishan Kaur. Now we do understand that the firms had told the top court that the government of India never suggested at the time of the settlement that it was inadequate. Now the actual argument before the court was that the settlement has become inadequate because the rupee depreciated and that had been contested as well. The top court had, during the hearing, told the centre that it cannot act like a knight in shining armour and decide the curative plea seeking additional funds from UCC as a civil suit and asked the government to dip into its own pocket to provide enhanced compensation.
Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.